In this video, I will demonstrate how to upload images and PDFs to Aspen's Web Builder. First, make sure that you can see the Web Builder module in Aspen Administration. If you can't see the module, please make sure that it is enabled in System Administration under Modules. Next, make sure that you have necessary permissions to administer images and PDFs. You can also find that in System Administration under Permissions. From the drop-down menu, select the role that you would like to edit or make sure that it has the correct permissions for what we're trying to achieve. To faster find all Web Builder related permissions, simply type Web Builder in the search bar. In our case, you can also type image or PDF to locate relevant permission. Please make sure that Administer All Web Content, which allows the user to add images, PDFs, and videos, is selected. Save changes. And now you are ready to upload images and PDFs. Aspen allows you to upload images in two different ways. The first one is via the Images section of the Web Builder module. And the other one is via Rich Text Editor, for example, in Basic Pages, Placards, System Messages, etc. First, we'll upload an image using the Images section of the Web Builder module. In Aspen Administration, go to Web Builder and then Images. If you have previously uploaded any images, all of them will appear here. You can also sort the uploaded images or filter them, for example, by title. To add a new image, scroll down and click Add New. Give your image a title and then click Select an image to upload a full size image. Make sure you save your changes at the bottom of the screen. And now you should be able to see that Aspen has generated other image sizes based on my full size image. You won't have to upload all the other image sizes. Aspen will automatically generate them based on your full size image. To see recommended sizes, use the tooltips and hover over the question mark. Aspen uses different size images according to different screen sizes. It responds to the cell size and layout as well. Here you can also view your edit history or delete your image. There's also a button called View Image, which gives you a preview. It also gives you a full image URL. So if you are linking to an external website, you will use the entire URL. And if you are linking to within Aspen, you will just need everything that comes after your library URL. So Web Builder, View Image, and Image ID. I'll copy that so I can use it later when we are going through the Rich Text Editor. Now that we have successfully uploaded an image here, let's move on to using the Rich Text Editor. Rich Text Editor can be found in many places in Aspen, for example, in placards or system messages, but I will use a basic page to demonstrate how to use Rich Text Editor to upload an image. Head over to Web Builder module and go to Basic Pages. Scroll down and click Add New. If we were actually creating a page, of course, we would have to fill out those fields, but we'll just focus on the text editor right here. Locate the Insert Edit Image icon, click on it, and that will give us a pop-up, which will allow us to upload our image. You can use it either by entering the URL source. So I will use the URL that we used before. Here I can put my image description and specify my dimensions. If I would like to make sure that the proportions are kept, I need to make sure that this box is selected. I'll make this image a little smaller. And Aspen auto adjusts to keep the proportions. Click OK and wait for the image to load. 
We apply some basic styling. I will click on the image and go back to the same icon. Then I will go to advanced and apply my styling choices. For example, border width, style, padding, or anything else. When I'm entering these values, Aspen Auto generates them in style line. There we go. Our styling has been applied. When you click on the image, you will see some additional options, for example, how to rotate, flip, or edit the image as well. There is a built-in image editor that will allow you to adjust certain features like saturation, contrast, or color levels. This symbol will also take us to image options. Additionally, you can also change the image size by simply dragging it. Another useful feature here could be adding links. We could link this image to a different URL. We could give it a title and specify whether it should open in the same or a new window. Now I will delete this image to demonstrate how to upload one from a computer. Go to Upload, click Browse from an image or drag. Upload your image. Aspen will automatically generate a URL source here. And again, you can enter your image description and change dimensions as needed. If I apply any styling, for example, move it to the center, this will also be reflected in style under advanced. If you prefer to do so, you can also edit image properties in source code using HTML. And that's it. This is how you upload an image using Rich Text Editor. Next, I will walk you through uploading a PDF in Aspen Discovery Administration. Go to the PDF section of the Web Builder module. Just like with images, all your uploaded PDFs can be found here. You can also sort them and filter as needed. Scroll down and click Add New. Write your title. and select a file. In case you encounter any errors when uploading the PDF, make sure that there are no special signs or spaces in the file title. Please remember that full path and thumbnail full path are not the URLs that you will be needing to link to this PDF. They indicate the location of the file on the server and you can view that using tooltips. Save changes down below. And our PDF is uploaded. Once the PDF is uploaded, you can view its history of edits. You can download it, view its thumbnail, or delete it. Here, there's also a button called View PDF. This takes us to our PDF preview. And generates our URL. If you are linking to this PDF from an external website, use the entire URL. If you are linking within Aspen, copy the part that comes after your library's URL. So files, ID, and view PDF. That's it. The desired PDF is now uploaded and can be safely linked to. Aspen not only allows you to upload PDFs directly and create URLs thanks to which you will be able to link to a document internally or externally, but you can also embed PDFs using custom pages. To find custom pages, go to the custom pages section in Web Builder module. Edit your desired custom page. 
In your custom page, select the cell in which the PDF should appear. Click Edit. Scroll down to Source Type. Select what type of content the cell should contain. In this case, PDF. Another line with Source ID will pop up, which will allow us to choose our PDF by title. Aspen also gives us two options how the PDF should be displayed. One is embedded in a cell in its entirety, and the other one is a thumbnail link, where Aspen creates a small image that takes the user to the PDF later. Let's start with embedded in cell. Save changes and return. And see the PDF in its entirety in our web page. If you would like to see what it looks like to visitors of your page, click View. There will be an option to download or print your PDF as here as well. Okay, let's go back and try to create a thumbnail link instead. I will edit the cell again. And instead of embedded in cell, choose thumbnail link under display the PDF. Save changes and return. Aspen created a thumbnail that will take the user to the PDF once clicked. Make sure your changes are saved. And click view to preview what it will look like to visitors. Click the thumbnail to view PDF in full. There we go. The entire PDF opens as it should. If you have any other questions related to uploading PDFs or images using Web Builder or Rich Text Editor, please do not hesitate to reach out to us and submit a ticket.